nobody is watching those videos so might as well just let it rip as it is going on in my head <sighs> just two minutes ago i actually came up with the concept of a challenge called if you love me you win a million dollars even though i don't have a million dollars <laughs> Um, I am more than sure that nobody is able to love me. But aside from that, man, today was, today is a good day. Even though I'm not meditating as a year ago, even though I'm sadly we're barely reading books now. And I'm still doing my main things, such as practicing, uh, playing the guitar, that one. Its name is Simon, by the way. I am making videos, maybe irregularly, but at least I'm making them with me. And all in all, my life is going well. Yes, there is nothing special about it. Yes, I am. I perhaps am thinking too polarly. Can you say it like that? Like I am, I'm not thinking about anything being in the middle. I'm only thinking about everything being on the two extremes. Either I'm doing it all the time, or I'm not doing it at all. <sighs> Yesterday was the first ever time I actually played a video game. For the last two years. And even though the circumstances were really special, so to say, I'm not happy with myself that I did it. I know, however, that none of my progress will um, vapor away because of me uh, because of me doing that for one day. And even though, man, it feels it always hits you so hard the moment you you feel like you failed, but really you didn't. Most of the people think that the moment they stop doing the thing, uh, the thing they were supposed or planning to do, they've already failed. But not really. This one day, you were succeed. You succeeded in doing it. Was the proof that you can, and everything that is making you to stop it, is your surrounding. It's the way you think, but you can do it. Like I was doing it for the whole two years and I mean it's not as I'm planning to go back to playing this trash no I'm not I know I'm not I'm not gonna download any of the video games I've played before on my PC uh, by the way this one game is on my on my childhood uh, console which is called PlayStation Portable and I just recently discovered that, like yesterday, the day I've done it, I discovered that I can download any video game I want there, even those that I, I wanted to play my whole childhood. When in my childhood I saw somebody play this, I always wondered, man, I really hope I would be able to play it too, but I was never, I was never able to, and now I am. It doesn't fucking mean that I'm gonna even start nearly as often as even one time a month to play video games. Like, imagine this graph. This graph is gonna be showing you um, a every and each day that I haven't played video games. And, oops, there is one smallest 
bump. In those 600 something days, there is one day that I played a video game. It's so minuscule. It's so unimportant. But man, it hits hard. It hits hard when you when you have the certain belief that you'll never do it, and then you do it. I had the same thing with sugar, and I had the same thing with anime. And I suppose now I'm having the same thing with video games. But you know, I know what my life is. I know what it is gonna be. And I am certain that this one video game, this one day, will not ruin anything. And I'm not talking about you continuing playing video games. I'm not talking about myself continuing to play video games, but I'm talking about how one fail, how one mistake, how one coincidence will not change you. As many times as we ever heard of big events that change somebody's lives, such as starting a new year from a from a new um, from a new fully white paper and building it the way you want only one percent of people who are actually doing new year revolutions and who are setting them up are actually reaching them one percent and even though it's still big progress to even want to do from it's just that people are not able to do it because of them not being able to comprehend how many addictions they got to something else, such as fast food, such as watching porn, such as watching anime, such as eating sugar, and such as playing video games. They don't understand that that, it, that is a problem. They don't understand why they can do these revolutions. And this 1% who succeeds have planned this for over a year. It wasn't like that, that the moment somebody mentioned New Year revolutions to them, they came up with them and then they, they done it. The first New Year they set it up to. No. They may do it for one day, two days, maybe even three, maybe for a week. But if they won't change anything in their self picture, nothing will change. And those people who actually succeed in doing it have been thinking of it for maybe a bunch of years, maybe one year for some special people. But most of them thought of it as, as a multiple years. Multiple years of non-stop planning of your New Year revolutions. It never goes like this. That the moment you start doing something because you got first ever thought about wanting to do it, you're going to be doing it and you're going to be doing it for a long time. No. Compare it to any other situation in your life, which you've, you are now doing regularly. Nothing was about you just deciding to start and never stopping. It was everything is about you, first of all, imagining yourself, how you're going to be, and then just doing it. For a long time. It's like you being a child and you wanting a gaming PC for a really long time but when you never had one. And the moment you get it, 
like six years from the first time you mentioned it for uh, to your parents to buy it to buy it to you for a for Christmas. You have been thinking of it six years straight. And now, yes, surprise, you're playing video games on this gaming PC, and now you're addicted. Hmm. It's nice talking to you. Change is a bliss in any way or form. Procrastination is a curse in any way or form. <laughs>